Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome to another travel video. So today we are in Sweden. So we are at the port about 20-25 minutes outside of Gothenburg. Unfortunately we were supposed to go to Stockholm but the weather was too bad. So this is our only port in Sweden. We're very excited to be here. We're going to go take a shuttle bus into Gothenburg and see what there is to see. We don't have an excursion today but the shuttle bus is $19 there and back, so that's $10 away, cheaper than a taxi. And I think we might try to find a hop on hop off bus or there might be things just to walk about. We're not quite sure yet. We did some research and we didn't see too much information. So I'm gonna bring y'all along. Hopefully there will be more to do today than there was yesterday in Kiel, Germany. We found, we didn't find much to do yesterday. We should have gone into Hamburg, so lesson learned but we're on the ship for 21 days you can't do something every single day or you will go broke and exhausted so today Sweden and then tomorrow sea day yay all right let's go just wanted to show you a little bit of the view because it is gorgeous out here it's definitely a little bit of a seaside kind of port. All the lighthouses and the rocks. Very, very pretty. It's like a postcard. And of course, as usual, I'm the only one out here on the Serenity Deck this early in the morning. Look at the seagulls. All right, y'all, let's go check check out the shuttle. All right, y'all, so we got off the bus, or off the bus, we got off the ship, and right over here, came and got in line for the shuttles. So this is the shuttle. It's just a big coach, obviously. It's $20 there and back. The last shuttle is at 4.30. Port leaves, we leave out of port at 5.15. So for the most part, sounds like we priced the taxis, this was cheaper. So we're gonna take this into town and then decide what we wanna do from there. I think it's about a 20, 30 minute drive on the coach, so. And we got these very stylish wristbands, Mom. You wanna, you wanna show them your wristband? It says we paid for the coach, so. All right, I think this one's almost full. So we're either gonna be the last people there or the first people here. We'll find out. Okay, so instead of the hop on hop off bus, mom has decided she wants to take this little train. It takes you to all the main stops and she wants to be able to take pictures. So we're gonna take a little train, see where it takes us. The open area around us is the main square, the city center. The water next to us is the harbor, where goods are taken ashore, protected by the fortifications. The square is crowded today. Farmers, craftsmen, merchants and soldiers, almost all of the city's 2,000 inhabitants have gathered here. People are celebrating the colonel, 
Giori stale fire and forced Tulkenkund to leave. This wasn't the first time Gothenburg was threatened by foreign forces, and it wouldn't be the last. But the city itself has never been attacked or besieged, in spite of the exposed position of the Dane. We are on the little train, and it is quite a bit bumpy, so we may have more uh, pictures for you than footage with all the bumps. We'll see. Stromer's efforts, the potato didn't immediately become popular. It wasn't until 20 years later, after Eva de la Gardie had shown how to use it to produce schnapps, that farming became widespread. And for this, she was elected into the Swedish Academy of Science as the first woman ever. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Our little train. All those trees. They look like big lollipops. These cornerless houses made it easier for horses to round them with their carriages. And by the way, if you find the ride a bit bumpy, that's because we wanted to recreate the feeling of how it must have been to travel by horse and carriage over the cobblestone along the street. from trading with Eastern Asia. He met the Swede Niklas Sorgen in the Netherlands and suggested the founding of a Swedish East India Company. Campbell had previously been partner of a Dutch company that had gone bankrupt. The East India trading was a risky business. England and the Netherlands claimed monopoly on this trading and defended their opinion with guns. The first East Indiaman sent from the Swedish East India Company in 1732 was hijacked by the Dutch in the Sunda Strait but was later released and returned to her home port with a good profit. Gothenburg's Grand Theatre opens here on our right. This was preceded, however, by a lively debate since the grounds outside of the moat was considered regular backwoods and immediately dangerous to pass through late at night. Here to the Grand Theatre, or the New Theatre of Gothenburg, as it was called back then, in 1872, a young August Strindberg came to audition. He actually got a small part, but didn't like either the manager or the town, and soon left again. We were saying this is the King's Park, and they planted one type of tree in the park for every type of tree that grows native to Sweden. That's kind of cool. Lots of people riding bikes, and the same as in Copenhagen, they have the street lights, and then you can see right up in here. such a big part of their culture to ride bikes. with 
with a mission to defend the city gates. The fact is that the entire district of Haga was built with a reservation that it was to be leveled with the ground in wartime to get a free line of sight for Skansenkrona and its tenants. Fortunately, this never happened. Oh, little t building up there at the crown was a guard tower of some kind. And a little doxy! Oh, we're not close. A guided tour of Gothenburg wouldn't be complete without mentioning Håkan Hellström, one of Sweden's most renowned musicians who stems from here. He started his career in the indie pop band Broder Daniel in the 90s, but in the year 2000 he released his first solo album, Shelly and Sorry for Men Göteborg, Don't Feel Sad for Me in Gothenburg. And from that moment on, his career has been going steadily upwards. There's the guard house up on the hill with the crown. had their offices in the grand buildings on our left side. Today, this is the Gothenburg City Museum. All right, we're back in the square. I liked the little train. I thought it was gonna be a little kitschy or like a little train for kids, but they actually had a pretty good history tour running the whole time, so you knew what you were seeing. And I liked that it was open air, so I'm gonna walk around now and see what there is to see. All right, y'all. Spotted one. A doxy in the wild. Swedish doxy. Mom was trying to get a picture. So we're walking around, we found this cute little baking shop. And they have all kinds of baking things, but also silicone molds. I almost got one for resin, but I'm gonna get two of these little ice, ice cream. cream cone holders. Oh, yeah. They're so cute. And show them what you found, Mom. Oh, for all my baking needs. Mom doesn't bake a lot, but she likes these little rolling pins. It says Hand, homemade, handmade. Yeah. Oh, there you go. We've got a few little things for the kitchen. Okay, so we found the ball. Yes. We did a train tour. We walked all over the city. We found all the things we needed. Mom found a mini stapler, which was top of her list. We I found find cough drops. Yeah. Some Christmas ornaments. Some Christmas Post ornaments. Cards. All the important things. Had a pan of chocolate. Yes. So, what what would you rank today well, out of a ten? Oh, this was definitely a ten. This was it a was ten. Good. We didn't have an official and the city tour, was but beautiful. yeah, I think this was my second favorite so far, right after Wismar and Schwerin in Germany. So, we're going to take the shuttle back to the boat now and take a break before dinner. It's a ship. Not it's a big boat. All right, let's go. How much of the train footage is going to be usable? Oh, I know. Because it was so bumpy. I tried whenever we went on the smooth pavement to film, but I told him, like, we all might get a bunch of pictures for this part of the tour because it made this almost impossible whenever he was going over the cobblestones. I wonder if Taryn and her mom already made their way back. 
I would be surprised if they had Do it at the store. Everywhere else, you have to send off for it. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Though. It is when you're only there for a day. Oh. Think about it. And none of them are in the U.S. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all in Europe. I have two charms I got in grades, and I had to have them special order to England. And then my friend mailed them over. I don't know, she's not a friend friend, she's just 